how do we trust the universe and how can we create more joy in our life that is the topic for today um hi guys welcome to my song today you are in my room because the laundry's on and it's making a lot of noise so yes hello guys and this topic was sparked by my friend who i've asked what should i talk about today and he suggested i talk about uh, long distance friendships and why i want to talk about um trust trusting the universe specifically is that it reminded me of a time where i moved a lot and which meant i had or i have long distance friendships and a lot of the time i would get uh, growing up especially i would get so attached to those friends i would think that if i'm not with them that my life is terrible not terrible but out of my control so in a sense i was always clinging on and even like missing them so much that i feel like i've probably been pushing them away because i wanted that friendship to live on so when i say talking about you know trusting the universe is trusting that your friends will always be there for you they trust the universe that new friendships will come into your life that there will always be friends and that you are never alone so see how a lot of the time when we are when we don't trust the universe we are actually saying we lack we lack something so we are attaching ourselves and giving meaning to things if these these are people of it or these are objects um Ooh, sunshine and we are saying we are not enough we are missing something and we need that thing we need that person we need that object to feel happy what trusting the universe is is knowing that you will receive everything that you desire and sometimes you might even receive something even better that's for you so that's another like manifestation tip in a sense is that we want to focus on what we desire but we can't attach ourselves to it that meaning that if we don't get that which we desire if we yeah if we don't get that which we desire we will be no one or we will not be complete and so that is why a lot of the people, they said, oh, but I want this, I want this so much, and they focus on it so much, but what they're actually doing is pushing it away because they want it so much. And as a child, I wanted my friends so, so much that I was literally crying. I remember being depressed. I was an unhappy teenager because I wanted i wanted so much that which was outside of me i wanted so much that my friends would love me as much as i would love them but they were on the other side of the world and so i couldn't receive that love right so there was a part of me always wanting and then not seeing that in other people and this is something I think I'm letting go of nowadays after like 10 20 years I am now realizing the patterns that I've had in my current relationships where I feel I need like some people I attach myself because I want something I want more or I want I know I feel like I lack that if I don't receive a specific gesture or like I like to express myself so if someone else is not very expressive or someone else doesn't tell me you know they appreciate me as much as I always say it then I feel that I am not good enough and so then I go into like this panic mode and it just reminds me now of when you know in the past where i've had this situation where you know i've been moving around a lot and i've been wanting something so much that i'm actually pushing it away because the more we want something we actually push it away and so then we 
It's funny because then we start punishing ourselves like, oh my god, I'm doing it again. I'm being super clingy. I'm being super, super needy. <laughs> and it's really funny because then we get into the cycle of beating ourselves up for that which we're trying to still avoid. So we are not trusting the universe that if we do want great friendships, that they are coming, that they are already in our lives and they and more co are coming and it will, you know, and that is you know, sitting in that feeling of like what it would be like to have amazing friendships, even if they're long distance, right? Who's to say that your friend on the other side of the planet doesn't want to see you as much as you want to see them, right? Well, they will find the opportunity because you mean a lot to them. And no matter if they're on the other side of the planet, they will find time once a year to come and spend quality time with you, right? So who says that there is no one out there that would go that, that extra mile for you, right? There is someone out there that will go the extra mile. And so when we want to trust the universe, we got to focus on that. How does it make you feel having that amazing friend in your life who might be living somewhere else doing their thing, but they love you so much like you love them and they'd come to you and like you will chat and like you have this amazing friendship, right? Who's to say that that can't be reality? So when we focus on that feeling that it gives us, then we are tuning into and looking for those little signals. But if we're constantly focusing on the people that are currently not giving to us what we need, or they're not expressing themselves how we want them to express, or if we're just constantly focusing on what that other person's doing wrong, then how can we see the beauty of that person? How can we see the the good aspects of that person, right? If they're not specifically hurting us, right? A lot of the time we feel like other people are hurting us when in reality it's not them hurting us, it's us interpreting it that way, saying, oh, well, this person didn't say I love you, so it means that this person doesn't care about me. Or this person, oh, this person didn't come over because they didn't want to talk to us, you know? Or that this person didn't like knock at my door, you know? And so we're creating these scenarios of why this person would not love us or not accept us or not even like us, right? So then when we create that scenario in our head and we give so much attention, not only do we make ourselves unhappy, we are creating, putting energy into that reality of it being like that. So we're putting so much energy into not feeling great that we are not going to feel great. So that person's going to feel our not feeling great energy, right? So we're going to feel and give off that energy. But what about you standing in your truth? And, and this is another thing, people pleasing, right? So we don't want to, what I try to notice in myself is that I don't want to focus on the negatives of people. So then I might overdo it by giving a lot of compliments because then I'm trying to like, no, focus, focus on the good. And then if I focus too much on the good, it's because I'm trying to hide away that I'm upset. It means I'm trying to not accept the fact that I'm upset, right? And so when I don't accept who I am, even though I'm trying to love more and like more and appreciate more and create more love, I'm actually pushing that away as well because I'm not accepting who I am. So I can't stand in my truth because what I'm trying to do is please the person, try to fix the situation. And so I'm not actually being myself because I'm acting out of survival mechanism, if that makes sense. Oh, this is, this is more so a video for me than for you guys. I feel <laughs> really important to know yourself, to become self-aware of the patterns and what you want. And if there's something you want because you feel the lack or is it because you want something because it's going to because you feel super excited about it. So if you want to manifest more amazing friends, you want to focus on what that feeling is that they give you and you want to see 
the friendships that you have in your current life and appreciate what they offer you already not be overly happy in the sense that you're trying to see the good in people right but you're upset so it's like oh thank you so much for hanging out with me you're the best you're you're amazing i love you know and then you go into the clingy and that kind of neediness <laughs> because you're trying to like make a great situation out of feeling bad so whenever so actually what you're doing is you're coming from a place of lack and you're trying to create that loving space but because you are coming from that place of panic you're actually creating the opposite of what you want because even though you're focusing on what you want in your mind inside here you don't believe it because you have to push it right so how to have great friendships in your life is what well, as i said before focus on that which you want which you truly want you got to feel it in your heart you got to feel that spark you got to feel that that joy and i just noticed within myself that my survival mechanism is definitely trying to skip that feeling upset part and trying to fix the situation and make it better by giving compliments by you know and i see this with other people as well trying to please me and it's just interesting because you hang out with people and then they're like overly nice and then you kind of get this sense like okay this person's wanting something more than friendship for example or that person's kind of getting becoming clingy and that shows me that they're not secure in themselves that they are not secure people and it's interesting because then i see myself in them and i'm like oh this is how it comes across i don't want this in my life i want i want great friendships and i don't want to come across as needy and so it's so 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 important to acknowledge yourself and that's why I do one-to-one -one sessions with people because I want to help them understand where they're coming from to, to understand why things aren't working out in their life. And it's, sometimes we don't see this. We don't see this until someone else shows it to us. And so, but we can create self-awareness and then we can see ourselves too. But at the start, it's very hard to see because you're just so wanting something so much, you actually push it away. Whew so that is what i wanted to say to trust the universe is to ask for what you want which is as i said generating that amazing feeling that you wish or that you want to have feel it now and expect the universe to bring it to you and don't focus so much on it not happening because when we focus on the outcome and being like is it there yet is it there yet are my friends coming are my friends here yet that's when we're basically telling the universe i don't believe you i want it now so cool guys that that was it um find me on instagram and we can actually chat in my direct messages i am i love chatting with you guys and if you want one to one sessions the link is below and we can hop on a 30 minute free call and i can help you guys take control over your life thank you guys so much talk to you in the next video